Greetings, everyone, and welcome once again to the Baptist Bread and Scripture Song broadcast for this 18th day of October, Friday, and we're going into another weekend, and today's topic is titled, We Are His, and we sure are. If you're saved, born again, believer in Christ, you're His, and praise the Lord for that, and we'll get into that topic here in a few minutes. But first, I'd like to greet you, as always, in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. And he, too, can be your Lord and Savior today, if he's not already. And that is the most important thing you can ever do, is trust Jesus, believe on him, and he'll wash away all your sin, give you eternal life. And then the Holy Spirit comes and dwells inside of you. And then he'll rule and reign in your heart and your life and all that, as you allow him to. So... Uh, let's make sure we don't give into this flesh and make sure we have the victory each and every day and and to be more christ-like as we grow in the faith and all that so praise the lord um uh, for all that in the bible of course get into the bible and read it and study it as we've been going through last week and this week and then the week before we had topic on teaching so check that out also if you missed any of those there um, that was about three weeks ago uh, when we were going over teaching and then last week we were doing studying uh, reading and studying the first week and then this week is uh, the continuation of that topic there so uh, check those out and get to read and study your bible so you can be a good teacher and learn how to be taught the truth of the bible by getting into a good bible believing church and under good preaching from god's word and all that and that's all required also and and uh, helpful so amen all right so let's go ahead now and get into the scripture song but before we get into the scripture song let's go ahead and look at isaiah chapter 40 and get some context here so and we know that the old testament is um, written to the nation of israel and how we can apply these things to our lives in spiritual and practical ways so and remember that not everything is written to us but everything is written for us so all right so let's go ahead now and go to chapter 40 and let's see how all uh, right so there's 31 verses here so let's see here if there's any paragraph uh, marks here so it was 40 verse 28 so let's see here 28 all right so 28 starts a new paragraph but let's go ahead and get the context here a little bit from verse 1 and this says here in verse 1 of chapter 40 says comfort ye comfort ye my people saith your god speak ye comfortably to jerusalem and cry unto her that her warfare is accomplished that her iniquity is pardoned for she hath received of the lord's hand double for all her sins the voice of him that crieth in the wilderness prepare ye the way of the lord make straight in the desert a highway for our god Every valley shall be exalted, and every mountain and hill shall be made low, and the crooked shall be made straight, and the rough places plain, and the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all flesh shall see it together, for the mouth of the Lord hath spoken it. The voice said, Cry, and he said, What shall I cry? And our, all flesh is grass, and all the good, uh, goodliness thereof is as the flower of the field, the grass withereth, the flower fadeth, because the Spirit of the Lord bloweth upon it. Surely the people is grass. And this is the grass uh, withereth, the flower fadeth, but the word of our God shall stand forever. That's right. So, amen. And so that's a little bit of that. And we'll skip ahead here. So I encourage you to read the rest of the chapter on your own. But we'll skip ahead a little ways and go to verse 28. <clears throat> which starts a new paragraph and uh, ends the chapter here, verses 28 through 31. We'll read here. So uh, 28 is the scripture song verse. It says, Hast thou not known, hast thou not heard that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary? There is no searching of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might he increaseth strength. Even the youths shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. Hallelujah. So that's the end of the chapter there. I'll give you a little context of what was going on in the chapter. So now let's go ahead and 
get into the scripture song for today from verse 28 of chapter 40. Let's see, I gotta put that, uh, sorry about that, I forgot to turn that over to the actual day. So let's get there really quick. All right, so today is the 18th. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Isaiah 40, 28. Hast, Hast thou not, not known? known? Hast, Hast thou not heard that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainted not, neither is weary? There is no searching of his understanding. Hast thou not known? Hast thou not heard? The everlasting God, the Lord, creator of the ends of the earth, fainted not, neither is weary. Hast thou not known? There is no searching of his understanding. No searching of his understanding hast thou not known. All right, so put that back to yesterday's, and we'll do those scripture songs again at the end of the broadcast. And now it's time to get into today's Baptist bread for Friday, October 18th, 2024, titled We Are His. Amen. And 1 Corinthians 3, 21 through 23 says, Therefore let no man glory in men, for all things are yours, whether Paul or Apollos or Cephas or the world or life or death or things present or things to come, all are yours, and ye are Christ's, and Christ is God's. Amen. So 1 Corinthians 3, 21 through 23. And so... Praise the Lord for that, and you couldn't you to read the whole chapter on your own time there to get the rest of the context of the chapter there. And uh, so speaking to saved people in uh, Corinthians there, Paul speaking to uh, the saved people in uh, Corinth and then all of us. So, all right, today's author is E.M. That would be the initials for... E M. That's uh, Ed Mast, and he's the pastor of Old Paths Baptist Church in Dubuque, Iowa, and so that's D U B U Q U E, Dubuque, Iowa. So let me read you what he wrote today on this topic of we are His, and praise the Lord if you're saved, born again believer in Christ, you are His. So, and uh, it says here, rejoice, O Christian in Christ. So let's rejoice, Amen. Rejoice evermore. And it says, for you are his, and he is God's. We have been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb and adopted into the family of God. Hallelujah. So praise the Lord for that. The church in Corinth was being divided by their glorying in men, right? So let's not glory in men and lift up men higher than the Lord. And um, it says, some were boasting of Paul, some of Apollos, and others of Cephas. They were overvaluing men and the glorying that should have been reserved for Christ was given to their favorite preacher. <laughs> and uh, we all tend to do that uh, from time to time. We all have our favorite preacher and then we want to lift him up um, better than anybody else. And then if that favorite preacher isn't preaching in the pulpit, then we won't come to church because they're not preaching. And uh, that's not right because it doesn't matter who's preaching God's word. It's still God's word, and we still need to be there in the church house to listen to it and be edified by it, whoever is preaching uh, the word of God and from the Bible. So, and uh, so, amen. So let's make sure we don't uh, just come when our favorite preacher's there or try to lift him up above somebody else, and um, especially the Lord. Can't lift up anybody above the Lord because the Lord doesn't like that. So, and, and we should take heed to those things. And... Uh, so let's continue on here. It says, uh, these men were good men, but they were men nonetheless, right? And the men were right in their teaching and labors. The church was out of line in their man worship. So don't let this worship a man and uh, idolize a man. Uh, 
uh, even if he's a preacher or pastor. So, amen. <clears throat> Nothing wrong with honoring a uh, man, uh, preacher or pastor. But let's make sure we're not lifting him up above the Lord and uh, making him an idol. So, uh, so let's see here. Continuing on. Uh, it says, uh, the men were right in their teaching and labor. Uh, the church was out of line in their man worship. The men God uses are his ministers, but merely men each have their own abilities, gifts, and own calling. So we're all uh, called to be ministers of God's word. So, amen. Uh, they were all on the same team, serving, serving the same God, right? Uh, the men that God uses though differing in gifts and roles, there for your benefit and spiritual growth, you may love your Paul, uh, but God has sent Apollos for your benefit, right? Uh, to neglect to hear Cephas, because Apollos is your favorite, is carnal and unwise. These men were all ministers, but not the way to, uh, to God, right? So they're not the way to God. Jesus is the way to God. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to the Father but by him. Even Jesus said that about himself in John 14, and he is uh, the way, the truth, and the life, and, and all that. So, amen. And then, continuing on, it says, Rejoice and love ministers sent by God, remembering we are Christ's. You belong to Jesus, not man, right? <laughs> so, let's make sure we understand that if you're born again believer in christ you're um you belong to jesus not some man so not some pope or priest or whoever it is and not to be lifting up some man above the lord so if you have your favorite preacher well uh, make sure you understand all this that uh, was discussed today and if you don't like it well um you better like it because god god says so and that should settle it amen <laughs> so if you have like uh, an idol of your pastor or preacher up in your pulpit or whatever and um, you're trying to honor them well and they just passed away uh, not too long ago or whatever and you're you're trying to um, make them an idol by having their picture up um, up there and the, in the pulpit there well that's um, I don't believe that's 100% uh, right to to do that or um, you know but if you're wanting to honor um, a preacher or pastor and remember them well that's Nothing wrong with that and what they stood for, but let's make sure that we um, make it all about Jesus and God and not about some man that was your favorite preacher so or uh, pastor. Amen. So, and that's that, and we'll leave it at that. So make sure you get that right um, there um, after hearing this. So, all right, so that's the Baptist bread for today, and good topic there about making sure that we know who we belong to, and that's Jesus, not some man, and not to lift up man above the Lord. All right, so now let's go ahead and get into the Daily Strength Volume 2 book as we are going into this, uh, continuing on in this second week on reading, excuse me, reading and studying um, topic here, and we've come to Day 258, Friday, and this is titled The Command to Study, Amen. In 2 Timothy 2.15, we all know this verse by heart, I'm sure, by now. It says, Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Amen. And let's see here if there's any more context with this. Here, I encourage you to read the whole chapter here, but we're going to try to stick with the studying thing here. So let's go to first, or 2 Timothy 2.15 really quick. So 2 Timothy 2 and 15. All right, so, all right, and then verse uh, 16, it says here, But shun profane and vain babblings, for they will increase unto more ungodliness, and so on and so forth. So, all right, so that's that there. And now let's get into the introductory stuff. So oh, let me make sure I don't uh, lose that there. Okay. All right, so introductory thoughts say this. It says, Every believer ought to faithfully read the word of God, but there is another command that is not to be neglected. According to 2 Timothy 2.15, believers can show themselves approved unto God by studying the scriptures, right? So to make sure we're not just reading the scriptures, but studying them, one can read through the scriptures on a daily basis without ever truly studying the scriptures right and that's true too 
Uh, in order to study, one must delve into the words and phrases of the Bible and consider their meaning both historically and doctrinally. Few believers take time to read their Bibles, but even fewer take time to study it. Uh, in fact, the modern versions have removed the command to study from 2 Timothy 2.15. Somebody has uh, tried to hide God's desire for believers to study. No doubt it is the same one who walks about seeking someone to devour. 1 Peter 5.8, and that's the devil there. So, good introductory thoughts. So let's, not make, so let's make sure that we're not just reading the Bible, but studying it out and really getting into it and taking time to study the word of god and all that so all right so now devotional thoughts for children and of course we can apply this to adults and everybody also so it says here god gave us his word to tell us what's right what's wrong how to get right and how to stay right second timothy three sixteen. consider this analogy a flashlight would be of little value uh, to you in the dark if you never turned it on, right? Uh, God's word will be of more value to you if you study it. Psalm 119, 105. So let's make sure we study it. And now for everyone, it says, How often do you take time to study the definition of a word or phrase as used by the Lord? So good to study the definition. And of course, we know most things in the Bible. Uh, when when you see a word, it's usually defined right there in the verse or, or uh, somewhere in the context. So uh, make sure that you're looking for that definition within the, the context of the chapter or verses. So amen. Just like, um, let's see, for the example, uh, a seer is a prophet. So in uh, many places in the Bible, it'll talk about being a seer. And then a few verses down, it'll say that uh, seer is a prophet. So Amen. So that's one example there. And of course, you can always get uh, uh, the 1828 uh, um, Webster's Dictionary. Um, that's the one I recommend getting. Um, so to look up words. And of course, again, you have words in the Bible that uh, define themselves right there in God's word. So amen. Okay, so let's see here. Um, uh, continuing on, it says, do you run straight to the dictionary or do you look it up in the scriptures so as we were just talking about there and we should look it up in the scriptures not just run straight to a dictionary uh, or a concordance but look it up in the scripture it says reading the bible gives uh, surface knowledge while studying the, of the scriptures delves into the deeper thoughts why is it important that believers delve into uh, individual passages uh, so um so it's good to um, dive into those passages and of course keep things in their context it's always important to that not to take things out of their context and and uh, rest the scriptures to uh, the destruction there and try to make some new doctrine or whatever so all right now for prayer thoughts it says ask the lord to teach you how to study his words or his word ask the lord to give you a special blessing as you study amen and then the hymn for today from the book is titled the old book and the old faith so that'll be the second hymn and i could not find an instrumental for the first hymn so i'll just read you the stanzas there and then we'll um uh, read the story here i'll read it to you and then give you the references so this first hymn is uh, another one he's the death of the saint hymns a spiritual song and this is hymn 898 in the book titled when death appears before my sight written by ann Steele who lived from 1716 to 1778, writing as Theodosia, and then Aaron Williams, who lived from 1731 to 1776. And there's 10 stanzas here, so I'll read you all four, uh, 10 of these stanzas, then read you the stories here on the hymn. So stanza one says, When death appears before my sight in all his dire array, unequal to the dreadful uh, fight my courage dies away how shall i meet this potent foe whose f frown my soul alarms dark horror sits upon his brow and victory waits his arms but see my glorious leader nigh my lord my savior lives before him death's pale terrors fly and my 
faint heart revives. Stanza four. Jesus, be thou my sure defense, my guard forever near, and faith shall triumph over sense and never yield to fear. Oh, may I meet the dreadful hour with fortitude divine, sustained by thy almighty power, the conquest must be mine. Stanza six. When thou subdued, this body lies slain in the mortal strife. My spirit, spirit shall unconquered rise to a diviner life. Stanza seven. Lord, I commit my soul to thee. Accept the sacred trust. Receive this nobler part of me and watch my sleeping dust. Stanza eight. Till that illustrious morning come, when all thy saints shall rise, and clothed in full immortal bloom, attend thee to the skies. Stanza 9. When thy triumphant armies sing the honors of thy name, and heaven's eternal arches ring with glory to the Lamb, O oh, let me join the raptured lays, and with the blissful throng, Resound salvation, power, and praise, an everlasting song. Hallelujah. So that's the hymn there. And now let's read the story. Uh, so there's three parts of the story there. Uh, so I'm sure these probably coincide with one another. So it starts off here. It says, Mrs. Uh, Steele's hymns, uh, for so she was known, though her fiancé perished hours before the wedding, uh, have resounded through the ages in the hymnody of the church, drawing forth the sympathizing tear, the rapturous song, and the prevailing prayer. Oh, as, that must have been rough uh, that uh, that her fiancé perished hours before the wedding. <clears throat> A biographer put it thus, her uh, cap capricious uh, mind was clothed with a weak and languid body, and the death of her father, to whom she was most ardently attached, uh, gave such a shock to her uh, frame that, though she survived him for s some years, she never recovered from it, though from the period of her father's decease she was confined to her chamber, she looked with sweet resignation to the time of her removal from earth and when it happily arrived she was amidst great pain full of peace and joy her last testimony echoes the hope of the resurrection she took the most affectionate leave of her friends who stood weeping around her uttered the triumph words i know that my redeemer liveth closed her eyes, and fell asleep in Jesus. Hmm. So that's a story about her um, and Steele there. So, wow, <laughs> quite a story there. And now the references uh, we have here. Stanza 1 is Hebrews 9.27 and Ecclesiastes 8.8. 8. Stanza 2 is Hebrews 2.15 and 2 Samuel 14.14. 14. Stanza 3 is Isaiah 25.8 and 1 Corinthians 15.54. Stanza 4 is Psalm 48, 14, and Hebrews 2, 15. Stanza 5 is Romans 8, 15, and 1 Corinthians 15, 57. Stanza 6 is 2 Peter 1, 14, and Ecclesiastes 12, 7. And then stanza 7 is 2 Timothy 1, 12, and 1 Thessalonians 4, 13. And then stanza 8, we have 1 Thessalonians 4, 17, and 1 Corinthians 15, 53. Stanza 9 is Revelation 5, 9 through 10. And then stanza 10 is Revelation 5, 12. And Revelation 19, 1. So that's the end of the first hymn. And now we're going to go way back towards the beginning of the book here. And go to this other one, the old book and the old faith. So let's get this one. And get this here. So all right. So there's four stanzas here. And this is one of these, The Preservation of the Scriptures, Hymns, and a Spiritual Song, 183 in the book, titled The Old Book and the Old Faith. No story for this one, but it's written by George H. Carr, and he lived in the 20th century. 
and he's the only hymn writer here. So let's go ahead here and uh, sing this here. <clears throat> Amid the storms of doubt and unbelief, we fear to stand the book of turn. Only the, the world holds dear through the restless ages. It remits the same. Tis the book of God, and the Bible is its name. The grand old book and the dear old faith on the which I stand, stand, I stand. The old book and the old faith are the bulwark of the land. Through storm and stress they stand the test in every clime and nation. Bless the old book and the old faith are, are the hope of every land. Tis the book that tells us of the Father's love When he sent his Son to us from heaven above Who by richest promise creates hope within For tis through his blood we are saved from every sin The old book and the old faith Are the rock on which I stand the old book and the old faith are the bulwark of the land. Through storm and stress they stand the test in every clime and nation. Bless the old book and the old faith are the hope of every land. Tis the book that tells us of the will of God and the Savior's teaching while the earth he trod. How he soothed their sorrows and relieved its woe. Through whom strength is given to conquer every foe. The old book and the old faith are the rock on which I stand. The old book and the old faith are the bulwark of the land. Through storm and stress they stand the test in every clime and nation. Bless the old book and the old faith are the hope of every land. Tis, tis the book that tells us of eternal life after faithful service in a world of strife and this glorious triumph over death's dark fears is the world's best gift in an age of countless tears. The old book and the old faith are the rock on which I stand. The old book and the old faith are the bulwark of the land. Through storm and stress they stand the test in every clime and nation. Bless the old book and the old faith are the hope of every land. Oh, the grand old book and the dear old faith are the rock on which I stand the dear old book and old faith are the hope of every land. Amen. All right. So, sorry I messed up a little bit on that, but still a good hymn there. Praise the Lord. So, that's the hymn. And like I said, no story for this one. So, let me give you the references and then we'll move back on to the scripture songs. Again, so stanza one, we have Isaiah 40, verse 5, 1 Peter 1, 25, 
And then stanza two, we have 1 John 4, 9, Titus 1, 2 through 3, and Romans 3, 25. Stanza three is Romans 12, 1 through 2, Acts 1, 1, and Romans 8, 35 through 39. And then stanza four, we have 1 Timothy 4, 6 through 8, 1 Corinthians 15, 57, 1 Thessalonians 4, 13, and then no references for the refrain. So, all right, so that's that. And let's put this back to tomorrow's hymn and put this aside for a few minutes and put this down here. All right, so now let's do the scripture songs again one more time and then we'll wrap it up after that. So, yesterday's scripture song from the 17th was John 13, 34, and 35. So let's play here with Brother Dean. Let's play John the, 13, the, the scripture song. And 35. A new commandment That's I right. give Amen. unto you, that ye love one another as I have loved you, that ye also love one another. By this shall all men know that ye are my disciples, right. if ye have love one to another. All right, here we go. John 13. 34 and 35 A new commandment I give unto you A new commandment I give A new commandment I give unto you That ye love one another As I have loved you As I have loved you That ye also love one another by this shall all men know by this shall all men know that ye are my disciples if ye have love one to another a new commandment I give unto you a new commandment I give a new commandment I give unto you, that ye love one another, as I have loved you, as I have loved you, that ye also love one another. By this shall all men know, by this shall all men know that ye are my disciples if ye have love one to another. Amen. Now today's one more time. Isaiah 40, 28. Hast, Hast thou not, not known? known? Hast, Hast thou not heard that, that the everlasting God, God the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainted not, neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. That's right. Hast thou not known, hast thou not heard, that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator, of the hands of the earth, faint not, neither is weary. Hast thou not known, there is no searching of his understanding, there is no searching of his understanding, hast thou not known, All right, and of course we know that we have the Bible, so we can learn about the Lord now that uh, they didn't have back then. We do have the scriptures today, so we can uh, search for his understanding there in the scriptures and know who God is and understand him better by uh, getting into his word. Amen. So praise the Lord for that. And uh, so, <clears throat> amen. As Peter said, what do we say? Um, uh, that we have a more sure word of prophecy, and that's... Uh, the Bible here, so King James Bible there, so praise the Lord for that. And now let's see here, that is it for today's broadcast. But before I go, I'll give you tomorrow's scripture song and then the topics for the Baptist bread and daily strength 
uh, books and then uh, the uh, hymns for tomorrow. So tomorrow will be the 19th and Matthew 18, 11 is the passage uh, for the scripture song of tomorrow. And it says, for the son of man is come to save that which was lost. And he sure has and will save you, you that are lost and dead in your trespasses and sin and on your way to devil's hell without Jesus. If you reject him and you die today, make sure you die knowing that you can be saved and trusting Jesus as your Lord and Savior today. So amen. So that's going to be tomorrow's scripture song uh, verse there. And we'll look at the context a little bit and uh, get the idea of the chapter there more. So amen. All right. And then tomorrow's Baptist bread uh, is going to be titled Lively Stones. And this is for Saturday, October 19th, 2024. And 1 Peter 2, 5 is the passage and tomorrow's author is rg that is the initials for rick gravely pastor of bible baptist church in rossville georgia so he'll be the author for tomorrow lively stones and we are lively stones that are in jesus so praise the lord for that and then the daily strength volume two book we are going to be concluding this second week on reading and studying and this will be the second week and final week on this and then on the 38th week uh, which is starting on sunday we'll be having this topic titled rebuking <laughs> so rebuking and let's see here so rebuking it looks like uh 30 week 39 is rebuking continued so two weeks so far on rebuking so there's going to be two weeks on rebuking and then on week 40 we have this topic on self-examination so so that'll be for the next uh three weeks there so tomorrow's uh, last topic on uh, reading and studying continued is uh, day 259 Saturday titled uh, Much Study Wearies the Flesh and Ecclesiastes 12.12 12 is the passage and then the song for tomorrow, hymn for tomorrow is titled O Lord, Tis Matter of High Praise and hopefully you can find the hymn and the, instrument and the uh, hymn book there and an instrumental for it also so if not we'll try to pick a second hymn to replace that one so and then we have quotes from the next volume volume three week 37 subject is reputation so it's good to have a good reputation and we have two quotes here from uh, that uh, week there from volume three week 37 uh, subject reputation and then of course um, like i said on sunday we start week 38 uh, rebuking and we'll go over the introductory stuff and all that and i'll go over all of that tomorrow uh, more and we have two weeks on rebuking there and then um, on week 40 we have a topic on self-examination so those would be the topics for the next three weeks so amen so hope you're ready for that <laughs> and uh, so that's that uh, there and then the uh, um, hymn for tomorrow the first hymn is titled oh blissful hope and this is going to be uh, starting this series of hymns on the rapture of the church a spiritual song so Today was the last one on the death of the saint. Tomorrow we start on the series of hymns, The Rapture of the Church, hymn 899 in the book. And this is written by Amos Sutton and then Laura A. Tate. And no story for this one. So let's see here. So that's starting tomorrow. And praise the Lord. So that's going to be the first uh, hymn hopefully you can find a instrumental for that one also so and this is the cover of the book here the dark blue cover and then there's also a lighter bluish grayish cover and then there's the brown cover those are the three original covers there and then you have the leather bound edition and then the spinal edition that would be uh, this type of uh, side backing that would replace this type of side backing there whichever one you uh, desire to have or if you want to get one of each and then right now there's a sale going on where if you get one of the original hymnals you get the other one for 30 percent off I'm not sure how long that's going on i think that's till at least the end of the month so you can um, check that out now and get yourself a couple of hymn books one at regular price and the other one 30 percent off so amen for that's a good deal there so if you don't have a copy of the hymn book or you know somebody that would like to have a copy of it, you know, and give it as a gift. So you can do that too. So good book to have. And then the, um, then that book there. And then the um, uh, Daily Strength Volume 2 book. This is the cover to this book. And there's four volumes to this series of books. And these are all found on MelodyPublications.com. That's the website there for 
those uh, books there. And then the Scripture Song Book and CDs, you can get these online at www.dailyscripturesongs.com. That's Brother Dean and Sister Patty Runyon's website. They were missionaries to Port Kaituma for such a long time, and now they're off the field, but still trying to make trips over there as they're able to. And Brother Dean doesn't seem to be uh, able to go over there um, like he wanted to, so Sister Patty, Sister Patty will still be heading over there, I think, at the end of the month, so uh, pray for her, and then Brother Blake and a group of uh, 12 are heading over there sometime at the end of the month or beginning of next month, and there's some kind of revival going on over there uh, at that time, so pray for that, and uh, um, as I get more information, I'll try to relay it to you, so you can pray, pray for that specifically, and amen, and then I guess he's going to be heading over there and taking over that uh, work over there, that mission work in Guyana. So pray pray for him for that. And, um, and so that's that information. And then the Baptist Bread book. This is the one from last month and this month. And if you order now, you'll get the one for uh, November and December. And they are um, being sent out right now. So um, hopefully they'll get here before the end of the month. They said yesterday that they are... Um, in the mail and some were sent yesterday and there's going to be some that will be sent today and then some tomorrow so and then hopefully the um, it'll be back to full printing and full um, sending them out all at one time uh, hopefully here soon so keep praying for that there the Baptist spread uh, and then it comes in a box of 10 and it's 12.95 every, every other month you'll get a box of these and you can order them get the subscription going online at Baptist spread dot com or www.timgreenministries.org and that second website has other books available to order if you check out that website there and of course the bible the king james bible the word of god this is the first book we need to be getting into and reading it and studying it and this we go over every day and just read the in the um, topic today from the daily strength the study the show thyself approved unto god a workman that needed not to be ashamed rightly dividing the word of truth and of course going to God in prayer and praying to him first before you get in the Bible and start reading it and studying it so we uh, have him to show you what he'd have you to see as you're looking at the Bible and letting it get rooted deep into your heart and your soul and all that and to have a good relationship with the Lord amen so and and all that uh, is required also so and then get into a good Bible believing church to um, get under the preaching and teaching of God's word also so and of course doing your own studying on your own time and all that so that's the Bible there, and then the other broadcast I've been doing, a separate broadcast from this one, is the Book of Genesis, part of the Christ Honoring Commentary series, written by my pastor, Brother James W. Knox, and he's the pastor of the Bible Baptist Church in Deland, Florida, and this book was a devotional type of commentary where he has different outlines and topics for each day of the year, and we're going through this topic uh, yesterday we started, it, and today we go into part two, titled Corn in Egypt, for this 18th day of uh, October. And then tomorrow we have a little side trip uh, here uh, titled, And One Is Not, for the 19th. And then on the 20th, we get into part three of Corn in Egypt. And then the 21st, we have another little side trip titled, uh, Reuben versus His Brothers. So that'll be, um, I guess, part of that message there. And then part four of Corn in Egypt on the 22nd. And then the 23rd, we have its topic titled Sincere Falsehood. And then we wrap up with Genesis 42 with notes on Genesis 42. And then on the 25th, we get into this uh, four-part series of messages titled Pressure on Joseph's Brethren from Genesis 43. So that'll be on the 25th through the 28th. So that'll be uh, that uh, those topics there for the next week or so. So amen. And uh, like I said, um, you can't uh, get this book in book format, but there is a PDF file on this book, as I uh, speak about each and every day. And you can get the PDF file on the church website at www.jameswnox.org, or go straight to the store part of the website, which is store.jameswnox.org, and uh, look up this PDF file for this particular book. And then there's other books that are still in print that you can order um, for that. And then when this gets back in book format it'll be a chapter by chapter verse by verse commentary and hopefully it'll have some of these outlines in there um, that he has in this old book so that'll be exciting to see when it comes back out and so that's that and then there's also preaching and teaching from god's word um, from um, brother james and other men that teach and preach the bible and uh, there's a good message from brother james last night as he's 
going through the book of Hebrews. So check that message out and any of those messages you may have missed from him and then other men that teach and preach the Bible in the Sunday school hours and then when Brother James is not able to be at the church house um, preaching himself. So check those out. Um, amen. As we were talking about um, making sure we don't uh, have our favorite preacher, but making sure we listen to God's word from everybody that gets in the pulpit and, and preaches God's word. Uh, so amen. All right. So that's that information there. And then if you want to watch um, the Baptist bread and then the other broadcast here that I do from the book of Genesis, you can watch those either on Facebook or you can go to the YouTube channel and the YouTube channel is Ambassador for Christ Broadcasting or typing in Baptist Bread Broadcast and look me up that way and like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when I'm posting these up on the YouTube channel and the Book of Genesis series of uh, readings is available in a PD or not a PDF but a play a playlist now so you can watch those from beginning to up to today all the way from the first of the month or the first of the year I should say to today. So, and if you uh, want to watch those from beginning to end, um, you can do so. If you missed any of them, you can go back and look for those uh, in order there. So, amen. And then the um, church webs, uh, the church YouTube channel. I almost forgot to give you that. That's uh, YouTube channel is James Knox Sermons YouTube channel where you can watch the video presentations of uh, the sermons there. So that's that information uh, for the YouTube channel for the church. And I believe that's about it for today. So thanks for watching and may the Lord richly bless you until next time. Bye bye for now.